Hi, you guys. Do you have a surprise to share with everybody hiding in there, Aussie Eye Junior? Did you do something silly? Did you make a nest out of the coconut? And then did you and Strawberry lay eggs in it? Is that what you guys did? Do you have a baby in there this morning? Yeah, you do. I can't wait to show everybody. But I understand we've got a pair of nervous parents who don't want you guys to see the baby yet. But I promise there's a baby in there. You can see Aussie Eye Jr. and then you can see Strawberry behind him. And just a little bit ago, Aussie Eye Jr. was feeding a tiny little baby and they're still sitting on three more eggs. There's babies in there. There's babies! <laughs> there are baby birds in that coconut. And long story short, I was going to actually share with you guys the fact, hey, we got a cool new coconut enrichment item for the birds. Pretty awesome. Chips thought it would be really fun, so he actually bought it for them. We put it in because they have been using this itty bitty little hut thing that I got from a rodent section of the pet store I used to work at years ago. They've been really enjoying it, but they have chewed the bottom out of it. So Chip saw this coconut on Amazon and was like, hey, why don't we get that for our birds? So he got it for me as a gift and I put it in there and I was like, cool, maybe they'll enjoy that. It's a cool enrichment item. And I was putting spray mill in it and everything and going, I really hope they don't use it as a nest, but I'm not going to give them any nesting material and it should be okay. Yeah, famous last words for a Gouldian Finch owner. I should have known better. So actually, Aussie Eye Jr. and Strawberry ended up laying eggs in there. I don't know if they're actually mates, believe it or not. I think Aussie Eye Jr. just decided that that was his nest. And I've seen Strawberry actually flirt a little bit with our handsome blueberry boy back there. So I'm really hoping he's actually the father of her eggs because then they're a little less related than Aussie Eye Jr. and Strawberry are. Not good. Didn't plan for that. Should have been more careful. Should have realized having anything that has a hole in a piece of wood these two would have wanted to use as a nest. But uh, even though I've seen Strawberry with Silverberry right over right there, uh, in the past, I think those two decided they wanted to raise the nest together, so she ended up laying a whole bunch of eggs, like four or five eggs before I realized what was happening, just on the hard bottom of the coconut. And I was like, well, fine, okay, I'll say our junior's been better behaved than usual because normally he chases the other birds around because I, I need to separate him when he's feeling really antsy. And <laughs> he was behaving really well, so I was like, you know what? My last, like, 40 eggs for some mysterious reason that I think is, is birdie nutrition and virus related have been infertile from Ossii and Persimmon and it's been really hard. Chickenberry is my only baby born to my Gouldian finches in the last two years and the first year I had Ossii and Persimmon they had like 17 healthy babies fledge. So it's been really weird and I didn't think these eggs would be fertile so I was like okay okay whatever entertains the birds I guess I'll just go ahead and put in uh, some of the some of the bird like bedding and we'll see maybe they'll make a nest out of it and Ossii Jr. will stop chasing everybody for two minutes and then they started roosting and I was like mm, that's okay some people actually put fake eggs inside of their bird cages uh, so that that way the birds won't go nutters and they'll just sit down and like take care of the eggs and not fuss with the other birds and I was like they're probably not going to be fertile just like the last 40 or 50 from Ossia and Persimmon haven't been fertile for the last two years and then this morning I heard some tiny tiny peeping and there's actually babies inside of that coconut so I've been warned by Chips that we must name this one Coconut Berry. Oh, and there's Baby. I saw the baby moving around, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. It's walking between the parents, or it's like wiggling between these two, who I really hope aren't the parents. But the baby is actually right there between them. And he was just making some noise because he wanted fed again. So I'll see if I can get a better picture of him. Oh my gosh, are there two babies already? <gasps> there's two babies! There's one under his wing on, on the other side. I just saw it, like, poke its little head up to his left there. Yeah, look, 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 look. Maybe, or maybe he's just lifting his leg. Oh, 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 nope. Oh, that's a baby, all right. There's the aliens. The tiny little aliens are here, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So we've got one baby right there and one baby in the middle. We have two confirmed babies. Oh, look. Look, little Gouldian Finch babies. I am so excited. All right, you guys take care of them. I'm not going to bug them too much. I'm really excited to share these brand new baby birds with you guys.
but I also really, really don't want to disturb these parents when they are supposed to be learning how to take care of their birds, and, or their little baby birds. And again, I actually don't think the Ossii, the bright red bird, the bright red-headed bird you see to the left here, I don't actually think he's the dad, but if he wants to step up and uh, help raise them, then I have no complaints. He's been doing a really good job so far. There's the baby again. And once they get settled in and they're used to taking care of these little ones, then I will definitely show you guys the way that these look like aliens when they are brand new little babies. If you're really curious, you can see some of my old uh, bird seed diary videos here on the main channel and also over on the vlog channel to see what Goulian finch babies look like. It, spoilers, tiny, naked, alien chicken nuggets. <laughs> That's what they look like. They look like little alien flesh nuggets is what I usually call them. But you can see what they look like uh, in the old videos. And then as soon as these two are comfortable enough to come out and start eating, I'll see if I can get some pictures of their babies. So welcome to the world, little coconut berry. I think I'm going to name the other one Dove Berry because Valentine's was just yesterday. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. There it is. Oh, there's that baby looking just like an alien as always. So what's happening right here is the baby is begging for food by lifting its mouth open and moving its mouth like that. Okay, so I'm going to give them more time with the babies, which apparently there's at least two of them already hatched right now out of four eggs. I don't know if all four of those eggs are going to hatch. I'm very excited to see. I think I'm going to name one coconut berry and one dove berry, depending on what they look like. Dove berry because it was Valentine's yesterday. And that two eggs are already hatched indicates that actually these guys have been out and about for probably a few days now, maybe one or two days. They usually don't all hatch at once, but they hatch very quickly after one another. And by the time you start hearing them peeping, they've probably been out there for a while, out of the little egg for quite a while. And the Goldian Finch babies are extremely interesting looking. So I can't really get a good video of these guys right now because Ossii and Strawberry are a little bit nervous that I've been so close to the nest for so long. So I want to give them some space, let them focus on feeding the little ones and taking good care of them. The babies look totally healthy from my perspective so far. They are really, really, really cute. I'm glad I keep the room so warm. Yes, go plants. You've also made a perfect bird room. And if you want to really be able to see how fascinating these little alien flesh nuggets look when they are tiny like this, then you definitely need to check out some of our old videos because you will see how they lift their heads and they have spots around and inside of their mouth. And those spots are basically a target ring for the parents to be able to see in very dimly lit conditions like that where to put the food. They have little nodules that grow up on the side of their beak along this spot right there. And they actually kind of flash a little bit with a tiny bit of light coming through. They don't glow in the dark or anything like that, but they're kind of iridescent. They catch any little bit of light that might go into the dark spaces like coconuts <laughs> where they have the nest or inside of a nest spot where the little babies might be hiding. And that will catch the, the light will catch on the nodules and it'll create a target ring where the parents can see even better where to go stick the food. And that's also what the spots on the inside of their mouth do. And we've got a whole bunch of not very interested, could care less in what's going on uh, flock over there. But I really hope you guys will enjoy seeing some of those older videos where you can see the babies progress and you can see them starting to develop their feathers. That's actually some of these guys. You can actually see Ossii Jr. when he was a baby. That would be really, really fun. And those are some of my earliest vlogs I ever did because I was so excited to share that with you guys. And then we will keep an eye on these little ones and watch as they grow and progress. And hopefully within another month, they will be fledging. And we might have even more birds out in my, my cage. And I'm definitely going to have to buy the two big new cages I've been thinking about. And this is just such an exciting expansion and addition to our Tweety family. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I don't want to bug them anymore right now. So if you're really burning with curiosity with how they look, then make sure you check out those older videos. You always want to put the animals wolf first so I'm gonna leave them alone for now and I will keep you guys updated on the babies I'm so excited <laughs> this is this is really awesome